Boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be pack-a-punching worst to best on every single Black Ops game Treyarch has ever made. I'm also going to be including World at War in this as well, so technically it's every Treyarch game and not every Black Ops game, but yeah, you get what I mean. If you are new around here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn those post notifications on. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6pm GMT, which is UK time. I also woke up this morning to hitting 1,000 subscribers, which is absolutely mad, so I just want to say thanks for that it's absolutely mad never thought that would actually happen i pretty much doubled my subscribers in the last four months or five months which is absolutely insane like i just never thought i'd be able to do it but then i actually remember the effort that i made to actually make call of duty zombies videos and honestly it kind of made me a bit nervous because i thought what if it doesn't work but then i also thought what if it does with my new video ideas and my thumbnail designs coming along quite well i'm coming up with kind of a universal design which kind of represents my videos it's been going well ever since then so yeah thank you so much my dad did say to me that he'll give me a thousand pounds if i do actually hit it before january 1st and thanks to you guys i did it which is absolutely insane so that means i can spend a thousand pounds on probably something i'll never use or i'll just save it which is probably what i'll end up doing this is probably the best rng i've got for a good while oh my gosh this is insane Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really good. I'm on 5k already. Okay, let's get out of here. Somebody actually commented on one of my videos once, so it might have been a short that I put out. I cannot actually remember that in a few years time my channel could be one of those that's got like 10 to 20 thousand subscribers and i was like wow you actually think that about my channel that's kind of insane so we got the box do we hit the box now or do we wait i think that we should open this up and then turn the pack a punch on straight away and the power is on she's alive what the heck can you guys just oh man that didn't work Oh, no, please, please, please. I'm sorry. Link not active. Oh, yeah, I've got to do this one first down here where the teleporter is. I knew that. And now the teleporter is linked. I can officially pack a punch when I've got 5,000 points. Awesome stuff. And you know what? I'm going to pack a punch this. Usually, I pack a punch like the best gun I can get from the box. And I was going to hit the box. Don't get me wrong. But honestly, I just want to pack a punch this thing right now. Where's the last zombie gone? He's got to be somewhere. Is he over here? He is not over there. I'm going to guess and say he's over this way. And I was correct. Hello and goodbye. Wait, that wasn't the last one. Okay. Well, where is he? I'm going to guess he's up here then. I was correct. Hello, zombie. And goodbye to you. Feel like I should have got a better gun considering it's a dog round. But I mean, yeah, we've already started now. So, oh, no. Oh, no. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done this. How did he not die? You're being serious. I need to reload this. Please don't hit me. I'm sorry. I've not got Juggernaut. Thank you so much for not hitting me. Oh, you did. You've literally got to pump a full mag into these things. This is kind of mad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. How is my boy not dead yet? Just die. Oh, thank God. It's not the last one, though. Okay, this is not good. I need to reload, though. Finally, we did it. Oh, man. Yeah, that was scary. So, I've got the list in front of me of the worst to best packer punchers in order. So, the order I'm going to record it in. Obviously, this is the worst. I think it's only the worst because it's literally, it's just like, black with patterns on in it like it's not that good don't get me wrong there's a nostalgia factor there but if you take that away i just don't think it's the best pack a punch oh okay then i didn't mean for that to happen that's uh, kind of embarrassing i'll be honest so if i get like a few more kills oh wait i can already pack a punch that's awesome great stuff so if i get into is that a double points i can't see it it's a carpenter i don't want that so if i get into here and then i go to where's it gone there you are hello my friend how are you doing? We have officially got the Pack-A-Punch M14, which is called the Meneza. I don't know how you say that name, but yeah. And it's literally a one-shot kill. No, it's not. Okay, it's a two-shot. It's a one-shot to the head, though. But yeah, kind of cool. Like I said, the only reason I put this as the worst on the list is literally, if we're going to the light over here, it's just black. I mean, that's all it is. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. I'm not saying it's awful. It's not the worst Pack-A-Punch I've ever seen in my life, but it's also not the best we are now on the eisendrak i have not played this map in such a long time i've actually just bought this map for this video but i mean listen i really wanted it anyway but this is just an excuse that i used to buy it now the reason black ops 3 is actually second on the list starting with the worst obviously so this is the second worst is because there's nothing really to it it just looks like dark matter and we've all seen dark matter before and also there's no nostalgia factor here for me i know a few younger guys you might have nostalgia like i do with black ops 2 and black ops 1 but i mean other than that it just doesn't really do anything for me i also find the processors in most of the black ops 3 maps really finicky to even get to the pack a punch 
I did start doing the Shadows of Evil one and then suddenly realised I've not played it in a very long time and I forgot how to do it. So here we are playing this map instead. That's a thousand to open. I knew that. And now we've got enough to open that door. Great stuff. But the box isn't there. So that's how you know that RNG is going to be awful. We need to now feed this dragon. I don't even have enough for the Vespa yet. You're being serious, bro. I literally just need, like, well, not a lot of points at all. I'm sure you'll give me enough for it, right? Yes, you did. Awesome. Thank you, man. Just realised I need to be feeding the dragon. I take that back. I don't need to feed the dragon because... Um, well, I'm doing the pack a punch. I don't really need to do it, right? But, I mean, I'm going to do it anyway, just for the sake of it. I also have a martial arts class in the next, like, two hours. And I'm recording this video now. I don't think this is a good idea. Has a new round started and I've just not seen it or something? Because there seems to be a lot of zombies. Is he fed yet? Come on, man. You're taking a while. So, this guy is now fed awesome stuff. So, that means I have to go up this way now. The last time I actually played this map was when I first started my YouTube channel back on my PlayStation 4 way, way, way back in the day. The only thing that has real nostalgia value for me is this this map like shadows of evil just doesn't and shadows of evil is literally the most finicky map of all time it's just really tricky and really annoying let's turn the power on though so we've just teleported those bits for the pack a punch and now i'm just going to save up as much as i can and feed the second dragon i don't really need to do it but it's going to open up the map anyway so i mean i might as well the reason i also like this map is because it's very origin-esque for me i mean look you've got the gramophone there it's just the way the map is. It just feels very origin-like. So we've done that dragon. That's great stuff. And now I can go well into like this open courtyard. We've got the box as well. Great stuff. Let's open that. And I got the ICR. It could have been worse. I'll take it. Honestly, I've not played on this map in so long. Hang on a minute. That's the Origins Giant. Wow, that is, uh, yeah, that's really big. Whoa, okay. I landed all the way back there for 500 points. Really didn't need to do that. Since when are dogs on this map? I don't remember this. But I mean, hey, I mean, they're here now. And that was the last of them. Awesome stuff. So this is the second part of where you can teleport all the Pack-a-Punch pieces. And I think the third one is after you go through that teleport speaking of the third one the third dragon is also here is there any more zombies anywhere because if there isn't honestly i'm just yeah i'm just gonna grab it for 800 points let's just do it so if i go there and then i think this actually takes me to where the rocket is and i was correct i'm really surprised i actually got that right so that means the pack a punch is here or it's going to teleport to another place no i was right the pack a punch is literally right here for 5,000, but before that, we need to get some more points. Just realised as well, I've basically done this with no perks. What an absolute beast. Then again, we are only on round 8, so who really cares? We can now pack a punch on Black Ops 3, boys and girls. Let's go. Awesome stuff. I really thought that was going to take me longer, but it didn't. Let's go. This is what I mean. It literally just looks like Dark Matter, but the, like, worst version of it. I mean, that's just my opinion, of course. You can think whatever you want, just like I can. So, yeah, that's why I put it in the second worst slot in Black Ops Zombies or Trey zombies as i should actually say we are now midway through this tier list if that's what you want to call it and we are now on Deris on world at war this map for me just brings me so much nostalgia this is also the first map to ever have a pack a punch machine on it for my younger audience out there if you do not even know what this game is then i suggest you play it because this is where it all started there's only one thing i really don't like about this map and it's just that the quick revive is all the way over there which doesn't seem like a long way away but when you basically got to open up the whole map it's kind of a long way. Then again, I've just opened it all up and quick revive is behind one more door. That one more door being this one right there. And the power is on. Let's go. So to activate the pack a punch, you've got to start the mainframe to link the teleporter and you get 30 seconds to run from there back to the spawn. So when you've gone from there, you literally need to get back to this one and just click it. And bit by bit, it goes down just like that. And you usually get a power up somewhere. And I did. I got a carpentered, which isn't the best, but it's definitely not the worst. You know what? I'm going to buy quick revive this time because I have a feeling I'm going to go down. World at War is harder than any other Call of Duty as well. Apart from Black Ops 1. I think Black Ops 1 is really hard. In comparison to the other Zombies games anyway, I mean, as a standalone, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's different but it's not the hardest game on the planet but if you're comparing it just purely to its other predecessors and also the ones that came out afterwards 
it's quite difficult. As the games went on, like World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and so on, I actually found that they got a lot easier. That is part number two done. We have almost opened the Packer Punch. And I got a Kaboom, an extra 800 points. I'll take it because I have a feeling that the box is needed for a better weapon. We got an insta kill. We are good right now. We're chilling, but I do need something. <laughs> Something good from the box and something good we got. Honestly, insta-kill and double points is the best combination on the face of this planet. Every five kills, you just get a thousand points. It's absolutely mad. I mean, it's pretty much an insta-kill with this gun anyway. Just look, I'm absolutely ripping through these guys. Round five is completed and I've just got an extra 400 points from a kaboom. Or a nuke, as you guys call it. Listen, it doesn't matter what we call it, okay? Just, like, just relax. Really hope I can get there in time with this LMG because this thing is heavy, man. It probably weighs more than me, but that's not really difficult, to be honest with you. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man, I almost failed it. I was close, but I did it. The Packer Punch is now open. Oh, no, I almost went down. Oh, man, we got an insta-kill, though. Don't worry about it, okay? Do not worry. And we got two max ammos. Ha, <laughs> ha, That was really random. We can now officially Packer Punch on World at War. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Is it just me, or is this camo a lot better than the one, and it sounds a lot better than the one in Black Ops 1? I think that's true. I said one then way too many times. But I just think this camo is a lot better. Let me know what you think in the comments down below on which pack punch camo is better. I think this one is the better one out of the ones we've got so far. But I think Mob of the Dead is the better one overall. Let's get away from here before the dogs come and get me. We are now on Call of Duty Cold War Zombies, which is fourth on the list. The main reason that I put it higher is just because I like the way the Pack-A-Punch system works. I like that you can upgrade your gun. I know you can put variants on it in Black Ops 3 as well. Don't worry, I know that, but I know it's random. You can actually choose on this. And I just think that the whole upgrading your guns with the multiple tiers is a really good idea. But at the same time, this for me is when zombies became very kind of um, like Warzone-esque, if that's how you want to put it. You can't even jump on there anymore. It's so sad. You used to be able to do it. Actually, can I still do it like this? No, you can't. Okay. Although I did say that this feels like when zombies started to get quite Warzone-esque and things like that, I do like... That you can get the wonder weapon from doing challenges on this thing right here. Whenever I was doing the easter egg, that's literally what I used to do every single time. I'd just come here and just wait till I got a legendary thing in my bob. What, what's it called again? Reward, that's what it's called. I knew that. And then I'd just spam it until I got the Ray K47 or whatever it's called. The Ray K was actually a really good wonder weapon as well. Everybody calls it like the Ray Gun Mark 400 or whatever it's called. I just think it's a really cool gun. I think it is quite ray gunny though. It's probably meant to be like that, let's be honest. So after I've done every single one of these reactors, I think, if I remember correctly, you can pack a punch straight away, but don't quote me on that. You need 500 to do it, and I've got 465. Wow, this is great. Also, the other thing I don't like about Cold War Zombies is just the way the whole point system works. You are limited per zombie the amount of points you can actually get from it, I think, or something like that. It's just really annoying. Are you hitting my reactor? Oh no, there's nobody there. I knew that. Why are they all going for this one? Can you just leave my reactor alone, please? Yeah, go for me instead. That's better. Do that. Do that. Oh, there's one there. Okay, I knew that. You guys should be the last zombies. Yes, I was correct. The generator is done. I mean, it's not called a generator on this. It's an ether reactor, but still, I don't care. Technically, it's still a generator. Shout out to Ascension as well. Ascension's a really good map, and yeah, I mean... That's from Ascension, pretty much. Can somebody tell me why Tombstone is in this game? Like, please just leave me alone. We are now on round five, and we are partway through the second ether reactor. I nearly called it a generator again, but listen, I'm just going to probably keep calling it that anyway. Also, why can you just jump over this stuff? Because this is what I'm saying when I say it's very Warzone-like, and it's just really really annoying i prefer the old school zombies but listen that's just me also comment what you think is going to be the number one on this list down below can you guys just get off my generator this is actually insane hey yo don't it like kind of get off my generator please bro or whatever this thing's called there we go we did it okay and we ran out of ammo great stuff i'm gonna have to get this gun i really don't want it but yeah I have no idea why this one was left till the last generator to do. I mean, ether reactor, god damn it. But still, I just don't know why I left it till last. This is the most annoying one to do. Excuse me, bro. What do you think you're doing? You want to just leave it alone, mate, please? Like, thank you. We have found the last zombie, but that wasn't enough. Oh, wait, it's not the last zombie. I thought it was. Hang on a minute. We've gone on to a new round. Of course, it wasn't the last zombie. I'm an idiot, mate, honestly. Oh, no, not the mimic. No, please. Oh, no. Please leave me alone, please. Hang on a minute. I keep forgetting about these type of things 
seconds. There we go. Look, killed it first try. So if I go back through here right now, because I've done all those ether reactors, as they're called, can I pack a punch? It doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Okay, pack weapon. Yes, please. We have now packer punched on Call of Duty Cold War. And now we shall move on to the next one, but not before shooting you right in the face. We are now second to last on the list and we have Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I think the main reason that I put this second to last is because yesterday I was just playing it. I wasn't recording anything and I actually had a blast. It was really fun. So that might be the initial reason why, but also I just think the Packer Punch looks really, really, really cool. I'm judging this off of everything as well. Like how easy is it to get to the Packer Punch? How fun is it to get to the Packer Punch? What the camo looks like and things like that. Does the Packer Punch give you attachments or does it not? When you Packer Punch your gun, obviously sometimes that does depend on the gun. I know that. But yeah, that's just kind of... I'm judging it overall. Let's do the first boss. Where's the thing? There it is. Okay, let's do this. Oh, no, I'm nervous. feel like I shouldn't have done it already, but here we are. Give me this shotgun. I'm going to need it. My boy is a big boy. Oh, my gosh. What the heck, bro? Just leave me alone, please. Thank you. Oh, man. That was scary. You know what? I'm just going to shoot these grenades at him. I don't even care. It killed him. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. I'm going to go down. Please, no. Please, no. Please. I honestly haven't played this map for a super long time. So when I went back to it yesterday yesterday or whenever it was it might have been the day before i had an absolute blast it was yesterday i'm remembering now my memory's like a sieve i don't know if you know that about me but if you watch my previous videos you will i just think black ops 4 gets a lot of hate that it doesn't necessarily deserve don't get me wrong it's not the best call of duty but at the same time as far as zombies go i think it's up there i really really do i would actually argue apart from custom zombies on black ops 3 it's one of the best i mean just think of it like this you don't need to get juggernaut all you need to get is perks that you actually want and you can pick and choose which locations are for which one which i think is a really good idea so it's not all bad for this game really is it let's be honest have i got any more acid grenades i haven't okay this is gonna be a long day oh he's there hello bro how are you doing hang on a minute <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah how do you like that how do you like that punk take that oh yeah you're going down look at this you're so dead right now yeah take that i've literally just slain you so hard so to get underground i think you've got to go through this one i don't think you can get through that other one over there hang on a second i'm at the pack a punch already what if i put one of these heads on there champion blood required so yeah i've got to kill them all to do the pack a punch i knew that don't worry guys i was just testing you okay i just wanted to see if i could get away with doing one i didn't know exactly how it worked so i've just been this way i need to go back down this way and i need to get to the other side i can't remember how to get there so i'm just gonna guess it's up this way i found it guys but i've not got enough money yet which is fantastic we have got a kaboom so let's kill these zombies and get an extra 400 points right now there we go you are all dead that is not the end of the round though we've got a few more no i'm not gonna get it actually i take that back i did get it the great thing is about this one as well once i've done this champion i can literally buy the door across there and do that one straight after let's call the champion and we are gonna get him real quick oh no there's two of them we're gonna get them real quick this is gonna be uh yeah this is gonna be an interesting one but with the power of this thing don't think it's gonna be that bad to be honest really don't think it'll be terrible oh man oh man i might have been a bit wrong might have been a bit wrong that's one dead and you are now dead awesome oh man hang on a minute give me the insta kill give me that awesome stuff now we can move straight onto this one which is literally just tigers this is the easiest one let's summon the person or the people should i say it's literally just tigers this is really easy there we go that's that one now we can open the pack a punch once we have, well, obviously got down there. We are now at the Pack-A-Punch machine. I will put the rest of the heads on there when I can. There we go. And it's going to open up. If you are enjoying the video so far, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn those post notifications on. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6pm GMT, which is UK time. This is the best looking Pack-A-Punch out of all of them. I just think it's really cool. I just need to remember, can't die because I've not even got quick revive, but I'm sure I'll be fine. What is that thing there chasing me? Oh my gosh, what are you? Just leave me alone, bro. We have now got enough to Pack-A-Punch. Let's do it, boys and girls. I think this is one of the better looking ones. Not many people do agree with me, but I think this looks fantastic. Let's move on to the final one. Guess in the comments what you think it will be. I think it's quite obvious at this point. And now we are on the final game, which is Black Ops 2 and one of my favourite maps, Die Rise. The reason I like this Pack-A-Punch so much is just because it's so creative. It's literally in an elevator. You can't just go up to it. Sometimes you've got to wait for it. So if you do want to build the trample steam, we've got this part, which was there. And then I've got this part, or you can't even see it. 
Well, there's a part there, and it's like a springboard. At that point, all you're missing is a flag, and I cannot remember where the flag actually is. I want to say it's somewhere over here, but I don't really know. Oh, yeah, it's that part right there. I think that's all you need, or there might be a flag as well, but I don't think there is. Yes, there is. It's right there. I'm being stupid. Wonder if I've got any money in this bank because there's a bank right here. Apparently, I don't have any money at all. I'm literally broke right now, which is great. That is 750 to open and I don't have enough yet. And now the power is on. Let's go. The real question is, the pack of punch is right there. I'm just going to say, where is it? It is literally right there. That is mad. Juggernaut's right there as well, which is great. Why can't I lay down and get points from it? That's a bit weird. Where is the last zombie? Also, the parts for the liquefiers in here. There's one there. There's usually a sock or something over here. It's right there. That's not a sock, but yeah. So if I jump on there, then I can just go straight up. Well, I'm hoping it's going straight up anyway. Please, please go straight up. We are going straight up, boys and girls. Let's go. And if I remember correctly, this is the Bowie knife. Yes, it is. I was correct. Cannot believe the Packer Punch is right there. I am literally just going to... Well, actually, I'm probably not just going to use the pistol. I'm going to buy... What's that? That's not a gun. I'm pretty sure the MP5 is down there, so I'm going to have to save for that. And now I can get it, I hope. Is it a 1,000? Yes, it is. Great stuff. And now it's literally just a case of saving for the pack punch. Is it just me, or is this one of the prettiest maps that Treyarch have ever made? Also, can you get on there? No, you can't. I always thought you could get up there back in the day, but apparently not. I appreciate the support, no matter how small or how big it is. Support is support at the end of the day. Just the fact that you take the time out of your day to watch my videos is kind of mad to me i'm not gonna lie i've said it so many times and i'll say it again regardless of if my videos did great or if they didn't do great i would still make them because i just enjoy making content that much how did i not get a headshot on that guy oh whoa wait what hang on have i got permanent juggernaut wait what no i don't want to test it i don't want to test it i'll test it at the end when i've got a pack of punch i'm not doing it yet double points Ooh, you look tasty i found the last zombie and goodbye to you my friend it seems that i've got perma juggernaut it seems i've got perma Perma perk juggernaut because I've just got hit twice and I didn't die, which is kind of cool. I did panic, I'm not gonna lie. Does anybody else remember as well with your mates? You would literally, one of you would cover this and the rest of you would just absolutely just blast them here. Man, good times, man, good times. If I actually bought juggernaut, I would have something called juggernaut pro, which means I'll go down in, I think it's five hits, so it's six. Pretty sure it's five, though. We got a max ammo. That is actually perfect timing. Honestly, just want this lift to come up right now. And the lift is here. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. We have done the best pack-a-punch on every single map. Yeah, let's get the gun and not forget. Honestly, these are the most annoying things ever. Like, just leave me alone, please, man. God damn it. Let's see if I've actually got perma-perk juggernaut. It seems I have. Come over here, you creepy crawler. One time, two time, three times, four times five wait what six oh okay yeah okay okay let's trick shot oh yeah we got him let's go 